All right, good afternoon, comic collectors. This is David, back at you with some more Ollie's goodness. So this is going to be pretty quick. This first half, this is only three Ollie's five packs. Um, I went to a different Ollie's. I'm always going to different Ollie's. So uh, be that as it may, these five packs are five ninety nine each. And as you can see, these are comic book super value five packs, a fourteen ninety five value. Uh, some PG-13. Anyways, let's dive right in and see what we got. Alright, scissor time. Alright, so I grabbed this five pack because it had this Kiss Psycho Circus right up front. You know, it's issue number 14. Uh, we got an Eclipse Comics, The New Wave, uh, America's number one team. All right, we got a Boom Studios, Strange Skies over East Berlin. It's number three, Regarding Matters of, of Oswald's Body, Boom Studios. And then Marvel Custom, oh wait, there we go, Invincible Iron Man, number two. So there's five comics there. Now with this one, I bought it uh, because it was showing some X-Men New Mutants goodness. That's why I picked this particular pack. So let's see what we have here. Alright, we have New Mutants number 14. Oh, look at that. We have a polybagged Stormwatch issue 0 with a Jim Lee Stormwatch. Trading card. Um, Y'all can see that. So cool. I uh, don't think I have any of those in the collection. All right. Um, okay, this is a wind number one. This is another variant cover. Excellent. If you watched uh, one of my previous videos not too long ago, I received a win virgin variant cover, and that was exactly why I went to. A different Ollie's to pick up a couple packs of these, um, this marketer, to see if I could find some more Virgin variants. And voila, second pack we did. Alright, we have another Regarding Matters of Oswald's Body, number one. And then we have an X-Men Legacy, number one. Alright, so one Virgin variant. Excellent. Now let's see what we've got in our last pack. This pack I grabbed because it had a trade paperback in it. Um, but let's see, we got Morbius, the Living Vampire number two. We have Ninjak by Valiant number five. All right, and then we have uh, Anne Steelyard, a trade paperback by Barbara Hamby. Uh, excuse me, Barbara Hambly. Um, so pretty much brand new, <laughs> never been read, um, and I honestly can't remember if I have this, but anyways, it's, uh, Anne Steel Yard, The Garden of Emptiness, uh, by Penny Farthing Press. All right, then we have Cursed Pirate Girl, The Devil's Cave by Archaea, uh, and this is, uh, heavy cardstock, very thick book um very nice uh, binding and printing on that all right and then just as we table part one just Le justice league america so only one version variant out of there uh, but one's better than none um a couple duplicates but there's that version variant um so, I will get these entered into the database and bag and board it and come back for part the second half. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, comic collectors. So, I'm back with part two. I've got all these bag boarded and entered into the database. And what I've got is pretty much cover price for all these. 
as I do, I put them in and then I print out a little roster of what I got in each batch. So to give you a breakdown of the ones that are possibly worth some money, this Cursed Pirate Girl, The Devil's Cave, is um, was cover price at $9.99, and this is the regular cover, and it's going for cover price, which is 10 and a little bit um, more on some of the eBay sales. So nothing uh, too crazy there, but for a buck and some change, that's a pretty good deal. The Ann Steelyard, the trade paperback, again, cover price, um, and like I showed in when I opened it, it's uh, in immaculate condition, so that's about 15 bucks. So I called this Ninjack because that's what I'm used to seeing, but when I entered it in, this was a Ninja K. Um, slight variation on that, but cover price with that. So the surprise, not surprise in value, is this wind number one. I said it was a virgin variant when I opened it, and as I looked through the database and I put it in there, it's listed as an incentive surprise, one per store, thank you variant, um, and it's going anywhere from 10 to 50 bucks um, raw on eBay, and uh, a graded 9.8 has sold for I think it was like a hundred or something like that so that's pretty good um, I'm really happy with running by different Ollies and picking up these packs because I got another great cover out of those that's really it um, thank you for watching as always and good comic hunting